This video is the third in a three-part series about how to successfully set up and connect a community with the CAP AC Smart Access Hub and MyQ. In this part, we'll show you how to install the CAP AC at the job site. This video is intended for demonstration purposes only. The procedures demonstrated should only be performed by trained professional installers and service technicians. Safe operation and servicing requires that you follow all instructions and safety advisories found in the manual. To locate a trained professional installer or service technician, go to liftmaster.com slash locate a dash dealer. We will continue our demonstration using this setup to represent the job site. As you learned during the site survey and preparation, the CAP AC installation can require a variety of wires, including power, relay connections, internet connection, and a suitable ground connection. When you arrive at the job site, make sure these wires are available and ready for connection. If mounted outside, the CAP AC needs to be secured in a NEMA enclosure. To prevent injury or damage while working with incoming power, it is best to power down the gate operator that will be powering the CAP AC, as well as the existing access control system. Locate the power wires coming from the LiftMaster gate operator's accessory power terminal. As previously discussed, secure the positive wire of our accessory power wires into the 12-volt to 24-volt terminal. Secure the negative wire of our accessory power wires into the GND terminal. Locate an available Wiegand terminal on the existing access control system. If wiring is not already available, run suitable wires from the Data 1, Data 0, and COM GND terminals at the existing access control system to the NEMA box holding the CAP AC. At the CAP AC, locate the Wiegand 1 terminal and remove the terminal block. Wire the Data 1, Data 0, and COM GND from the existing access control system to the appropriate screw terminal in the block. Reinstall the Wiegand 1 terminal block to the CAP AC. Power on the LiftMaster gate operator and observe the LEDs on the CAP AC. We want to see the blue power LED turn on solid and the green internet connectivity LED begin to flash. When fully booted up, the green internet connectivity LED should be solid green when the signal is strong. It is possible that once the internet connectivity LED show up as amber or red. Amber indicates a moderately weak signal from Wi-Fi or cellular. This can still be used, but may need to be investigated should connectivity issues arise. Red indicates that the connection failed or a severely weak signal that is not usable. You may consider moving the unit or adding an external cellular antenna extension kit. Should you experience an amber or red color radio LED on a Wi-Fi network, work with the site's IT to determine the cause and resolve the connectivity issues. Connectivity issues experienced on a cellular connection will need to be troubleshot with LiftMaster's technical support team. Ensure that the roadway is clear and open the MyQ Community app on your mobile device. Within the MyQ Community app, tap and hold on the front gate and ensure that the Wiegand 1 LED turns on. If the standard 26-bit credential programmed in MyQ as the Wiegand output was correctly added to the existing Access Control Systems database, this should result in an activation of the LiftMaster gate operator. Other installations may require typical dry contact relay wiring or supervised input circuits for security reasons. There are two relay output terminals that can be used to communicate directly with a gate operator or used with a maglock or door strike. The two input terminals are used for monitoring a circuit for security reasons, and these terminals can both report issues with the circuit via MyQ and can be troubleshot via the input LEDs. Solid green on input 1 or input 2 means the input is not active and must first be configured in MyQ. 
Once configured in MyQ, the input 1 and input 2 LEDs can be used to determine the status of the circuit. If properly configured and detected, the input 1 or input 2 LEDs will flash green. If the input 1 or input 2 circuit is open, there will be a solid amber LED shown. If the input 1 or input 2 circuit is shorted, there will be a solid red LED shown. Before wrapping up, locate the internet connectivity LED, which should currently be solid green. Should the CAP AC be seen while it is updating its firmware, this solid green LED will begin to flash a tricolor pattern of green, amber, and red. This is normal behavior, and the LED should return to solid green when the firmware update has completed. Once you've confirmed everything is working, don't forget to delete your test information from the facility, including revoking your MyQ license for use by residents. The installation is complete. Be sure to set aside time to help the community manager to get up and running. For more detailed information, including wiring diagrams, please refer to the CAPAC installation manual or visit partner.liftmaster.com.